I'm going to share with you why China is insanely well designed. If you look at China, its GDP is about $18.3 trillion in 2022, and it is the second largest economy in the world. Now, if you look at China's GDP by cities, you'll notice that Shanghai ranked first with $664 billion. Beijing is in the second spot with $619 billion in GDP, followed by Shenzhen, Chongqing, Guangzhou, and more. What is interesting to note is that even with the most prosperous city in China, which is Shanghai, the city's GDP only contributes about 3.6% of the entire China's GDP of $17 trillion. And Beijing contributes only about 3.4% of China's total GDP. And if you look at Nanjing, the 10th richest city in China with a GDP of $243 billion, it contributes about 1.32% of China's total GDP. Now for comparison, let's take a look at Japan. Japan's total GDP for 2023 is about $4.2 trillion, and it has dropped from being the third largest economy in the world to the fourth largest, surpassed by Germany. Now, if we break down Japan's GDP by country, just like we did for China, you'll notice something totally different. The richest city in Japan is Tokyo, and in 2019, the city's GDP is about $1.06 trillion out of $5.33 trillion, and Tokyo contributed almost 20% of the whole country's GDP. The second richest city, Osaka, has a GDP of $377 billion, and the city contributed 7.1% of the nation's total. Do you see a big difference comparing to China? If you remove Tokyo from Japan, its economy will drop about 20%. But if you remove Shanghai from China, its economy only contracted by 3.7%. This means one thing. China is insanely balanced and well-designed. The Chinese government distributed the country's resources and developed the entire nation, rather than focusing on just one or a few megacities like most countries did. Take a look at India. India's estimated total GDP for 2022 is $3.39 trillion, and of that, Mumbai contributed $310 billion, which is about 9.1%, followed by New Delhi at $293 billion, or 8.4%, to the country's total. Similar to Japan, if you remove Mumbai and New Delhi from the chart, India's economy will drop by almost 20%. However, if you remove Shanghai, Beijing, Shenzhen, and Guangzhou, the four first-tier cities in China, the country's economy will decrease by about 12%. This shows China is well-developed and its urbanization are balanced throughout the country. So do you know why China is able to grow and become the second-largest economy in just 40 years? The country's resources are well distributed and their cities are well connected for growth. Do you like my explanation? Share your thoughts and leave your comments below. And make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel to show your support.